breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter Joel is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Joel? Thank you. I am Joel reporting live from Lampton Quay. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout their towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm is, to the public is very real and... Joel? Are you there, Joel? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Rishikesh. Rishikesh. What's happening there? Well, yes, it's very tense here. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really awful. Like a mixture of smelly feet and cow poo. And it looks like one of the aliens is about to address us through a special translation device. <laughs> People of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings of planet Skibbity from the galaxy of Megatron. We demand these things. We demand from you humans the following things in no particular order. Well, number one, we want all your car batteries and we want all your pretzels and moolah. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you with our Roblox games. You have three days. That is our three. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so cross now to parliamentary reporter Maddie. Thank you, Grace. There has been a massive crowd outside Parliament recently. People have been going to school and work confused and unaware of the situation. Aliens are real people. Wake up and be afraid. Now, here's the... Prime Minister, to further address the situation. Tina Koto Katoa, people of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each one to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these aliens feel welcome in our country and to show all the, all the qualities that make us New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later where I will be joining the alien leaders on a helicopter tour around our beautiful country. Our hope is that they will Realise how pretty our country is and we'll move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you, br you hold your breath, smile and, w and run away quickly. Um, in the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do c to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? I think the first thing we should all be doing is welcoming the aliens to our country and giving them food. What? No, obviously that's completely foolish because we should be showing them how cruel and terrible we are so that they will, and convince them to invade Alaska instead. That will give us time to create a spaceship so that we can move to the moon or even Mars. You two dim-witted idiots. You both are absolutely t wrong. What we should obviously be doing is playing bingo with the aliens and being friends with them. What? No, that's stupid. No, I'm completely right. You both are wrong. Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Grace. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there is an outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, um, meanwhile confusion in Canterbury, where the aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. And in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement. Back to you, Madison and Grace. <laughs> Finally, we interview someone who claims they have had a close encounter with creatures from outer space. 
Our reporter Dorothy is with that person now. I'm here with Casey, who says she was once abducted by aliens. Hello and thank you for joining us today. This alien invasion must stir, stir up some painful memories for you. What exactly are creatures from outer space really like? Their stink is horribly disgusting with a mix of smelly feet and cow poo. And oh my gosh, they're built like gigantic furballs. How has this experience affected you? No signs of side effects yet from my doctors, but my emotions at the time were as haywire as you could imagine. Finally, Casey, as a person of experience of aliens, what do you think we should be doing? Don't walk away. Run. Please, listen. This is not an experience that you will enjoy. Get into, so get into a safe place immediately. Well, Casey, thank you so much for your time. Back to the studio. Thanks, Dorothy. Well, I'm going to go run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick. All the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>